In fact, I don't even think I had any tears at that moment. I just didn't have anything. And then coming to find out how everything went down and how the show went last night in Detroit, thinking about his family, it was just a lot. And with that said, because, like I said, no words, are you guys cool if we just have a moment of silence? All right. We'll just do about 10 seconds. And if you got these, let's do it. Go. stage. Never forget it. He rocked it out, plugged it in, the band was kicking ass. Then he took a small break and then he came out. It was just him and his guitar and he did an acoustic set. I never melted into music more in my life than that night. He's definitely going to be missed. I know that we have all been looking forward to seeing Soundgarden with Chris on stage tomorrow night as they were going to headline. I know the folks from Rock on the Range have some things planned. I also know that a lot of the artists from the bands that are performing have all called up and said, hey, we want to cover Chris Cornell's stuff. We want to make sure we're not duplicating, so. The best part about the weekend is that we're all going to be together to celebrate his life and remember that man, okay? If you see a fellow ranger and they're upset or they're crying or something, put your arm around him, dude. We're going to celebrate Chris Cornell. Corey Taylor is one of those guys that he, uh, he embraces musicians, their music, their talent, no matter what genre, he embraces music. Um, he's done some tribute stuff with other folks we've lost in the past. He even helped our Blitz crew load up the van or take the van and take shit out and bring it in here tonight. He's that guy. 